Hi everybody, this is Greg with Mineral Springs Tilapia again. Um, I wanted to talk a little bit today about taking care of these fried. This tank has got about 400 fish in it. It's a 20 gallon tank. All the fish are about an inch long. The only filtration and air that I have comes out of these two sponge filters. You can see how vigorously they're bubbling. There's plenty of air for the fish. They get fed twice a day. There's no debris on the bottom. These tanks were cleaned last Sunday. Today is Friday. Uh, about half the water was pulled out and uh, replaced. Now, I've had several people contact me in the last week or so, and they say they're having trouble with their fry dyeing. One thing you have to remember is these sponge filters is what is where the uh, beneficial bacteria grows. The beneficial bacteria takes care of all ammonia problems, uh, nitrite problems, and nitrate problems in the, in the tank. When I clean this tank, what I do is I squeeze these sponges out into the water, set them out of the tank for a few minutes, drain the water down, put them back in the tank, and then refill the tank. That maintains the bacteria that is in the sponge filter. It gets rid of a lot of the debris that's in the sponge filter, but it maintains the bacteria. Uh, here's another tank that's the same way. Now this one only has 150 fish in it or so. Um, but what you have to remember is that you, your, your goal is to get the water clean, maintain your bacteria at all times, and the fish will be fine. These fish are healthy, they're fine. They're probably a little old now to sell. Uh, some of them are an inch and a half. And being that there's 400 in here, they're not growing nearly as fast. So I just hold them for a couple of weeks longer and see what kind of orders I get. Now, I'm not saying that the tanks don't get dirty. I'll show you one behind me here that's full of fry. And you can see how much dirtier this tank is. There's debris on the bottom. The fry can't eat all of that. There's fish crap on the bottom. This was cleaned at the same time. The fish are fine because there's no ammonia in the tank, and no no level of nitrates in the, or nitrites in the tank. Um, but for the most part, most of my fry tanks, even though they've got a lot of fish in them, are fairly clean. And these tanks have not had any water changed or anything changed out in the last um, almost a week now. This is a 29 here. It's a little bit bigger tank. Uh, there's probably close to 500 fish in there. Uh, this is just regular small fry. These guys are eh, three-eighths of an inch, not very big. And then I use these tanks down here as grow-out tanks, these big 55s same thing they do have the two sponge filters in addition to that they have a hang on the back filter these are the only two tanks that have fry in them that are that are growing up to an inch and ready to sell um, that tank there and this is the other one and none of these tanks are really extremely dirty um, and there's 500 fish in each one of these 55s um, but the main thing you got to remember is maintain that beneficial bacteria that is in that is in these tanks, and you'll have you'll have good clean water nearly all the time. It's it's not that difficult to do. Um, if you have any questions or anything I can help you with on how to do this, again, it's simple as pulling the or taking the filters, squeezing them with your hand while they're in the tank. Removing them from the tank, take the water level down, fill it back up, drop the filters back in. The bacteria doesn't die in that short a time where they're out of the water and the sponge filter is, is uh, always damp, so it maintains, it can maintain that bacteria in there. But anyway, I just wanted to show you how I do my fry tanks. Um, I hate that you guys are losing fish, but uh, this will help you out, I think, a lot. Thanks for watching. Contact me if you need me, and I'll help you out any way I can. See you, see you next video.